hi guys welcome back to amy's channel if you are new here you're welcome please don't forget to hit the subscribe button because she makes amazing content yeah if you are an existing subscriber thanks for always coming back to watch you know we got you so now we're going to discuss like our money habits like things that has changed things that have changed or like differences we've noticed okay let's start with what we've noticed the difference with you know how nigeria's you know nigeria's um, relationship with money and lithuania's relationship with money mm. oh okay i have noticed a very big difference so i realize <clears throat> i don't have a big um sample space of data to make this stuff so it's it's still a guess i know but i feel like lithuanians may not have that much ginger about money as we Nigerians do uh, because I mean in Nigeria everybody's thinking about money you want to make more money you want to grow your money you want to you, you want to keep moving up to the next level you want to have money <clears throat> but here it looks like people just want to have a good life and you know not worry about all that money stuff yeah so I feel like that's a huge difference I think I agree with you and I think that the reason for the difference between the obsession for obsession with money as a Nigerian and and the lack of obsession with money as a Lithuanian or as a foreigner is the fact that in Nigeria you need money to like access access mm -hmm. yeah you need money to access the basic things yeah. mm -hmm. so like the things that you're supposed to naturally enjoy as a as a citizen you security you need money to even like buy your security yeah. you need money to um, you need money for your health care you need money for literally you need money for, see you need money for emergency <laughs> so like you would need to have that money because you may not expect that electricity for instance now they may there, there's been times when you will not even have light for a whole year mm -hmm. in my house there was no electricity for over a year i think it was almost two years so imagine that at that point in time you want electricity you have to like buy fuel for the generator so if you don't have money where are you going to get it from so i think is that um lack of security um, lack of um the basic things. basic things yeah. that make every nigerian wants to have money because if you don't have money you can't have a good life yeah mm -hmm. or like here where you know <clears throat> once you pay your bills for the month you're actually okay yeah and mm -hmm. you're not worried about one impromptu thing impromptu thing that will and happen. even if something impromptu comes up about your health you have insurance for that exactly so as long as you have a job here exactly you're pretty okay exactly so we're talking about money habits right yeah yeah so how you know in nigeria if you go to clubs, guys are always buying caskets, popping, popping <laughs> yeah. this and popping that. I mean, you know who the big boys are in club mm -hmm. when you go to, in, to club in Nigeria, but here, you have no idea because nobody is buying caskets. If somebody is buying caskets, they are black. <laughs> Guy, I thought I was the only one who noticed. The few times yeah. that I have gone to the club and people like got a table mm -hmm. and had caskets, they were yeah, Africans. Black people, Africans. So it's, it's like... <laughs> That's another money habit. I don't know if it if it has something to do with their money habits per se or maybe their culture. I don't know what is responsible for that. But what I know is that there are caskets of drinks in Lithuanian clubs, but Lithuanians don't buy them. Yeah, I mean like people just buy as they need, you know, yeah. like buy as you go, you buy maybe a glass of beer or you buy a bottle of drink and you're holding it and you're dancing. Mm -hmm. That's it. Nobody cares about getting a table and then the whole display of wealth yeah. thing. So yes, that's I I also noticed that. So I think that that also like it's also related to the fact that there's not a lot of like there's not a lot of show of affluence mm -hmm. like that. I think that the closest you can see, I do. Will you say that they splurge on cars? Yeah, no, not really. They have really nice cars, really good cars. I mean, I've seen more Teslas yet, but understandably, <laughs> than in Nigeria. <laughs> because which lights will you charge it with in Nigeria anyway? So yeah, I've seen really nice cars here, yeah. uh, but it's it's not like you would see in Nigeria still. I mean, I've seen even more. I've seen better cars in Nigeria than here. Yeah, so there's no issue of affluence when it comes to money here. Mm -hmm. You you probably not notice difference in houses of a rich person and a not rich person. And then there is no maybe there is, but like I've never seen like there is no place that you say oh this 
um, this place is for the rich or this avenues for the rich of course there may yeah, be there's, there's there probably is. is but the point is that the difference in the building and the structure of the place is not like huge that mm -hmm. you notice it yeah. it's just like you would definitely notice the difference between banana island in nigeria oh, and course. any other place do you yeah. understand so like there's no there are probably places like that but it's not so obvious that you can tell that this is for the rich or the places in this place are more expensive yeah. investments oh investments well I don't know, like I said initially, I don't have a lot of data to back this up, but from the few um, interactions I've had, I don't think that there is the investment craze here, like it is in Nigeria that I know of. I mean, people, probably people really don't care if their money grows here or not, I don't know. <laughs> I think it has to do with the fact that there's there is like faith in your currency. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. of <laughs> yes. Course. I mean euro will not just drop like that because euro is not just used here, right? Mm -hmm. So like you are not worried that ten euros would become will have the value of five euros next next year. Like it's possible but like it hardly ever happens. Or like in Nigeria where if you if you save your money You are losing it. <clears throat> Yeah, listening. So I feel like because you know there are not there's not that crazy. So pro people probably just save money and then they are probably saving money to maybe pay their initial mortgage deposits mm -hmm. because again the fact that <coughs> the fact that you don't need bulk money to make your purchases just means that you know you just need just enough and then you are not about the life of multiplying your money like that and because of that <coughs> you are easily not scammed like the Nigerian. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, but this is that it's just like in Nigeria, like you probably see, you probably see someone advertising something about investment. That's why multi-level marketing is a huge business in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and how someone is telling you, you know, do this and you get ten percent back, and there are like so many things people promising you, you know, money. But here, I've not even seen any, I've not seen any investments ad or anything since I came here. Of I'm sure there are. No, don't get us wrong. I'm sure there are. Yeah, of course. I think there should be. So one of the first things I did here when I wanted to start adjusting my lifestyle to fit here was I went online and then I searched that what's the equivalent of calorie wise in Lithuania. <laughs> <laughs> I could not find anything. Yeah. I don't think that there is much like that so i mean i've also had somebody ask me like in europe too you know how do i save my money and it's very upsetting when you have money that you want you have saved money that you want to use i have to convert it to naira mm -hmm. to save in naira knowing that you know you can't even trust yeah, the yeah, yeah. basically devaluing the, money. devaluing the money so in most cases like right now in most cases self i don't have any like euro investments as it stands right now but if they're like <coughs> if you're lithuanian or you live in lithuania and you think and there you are know, opportunities yes, that you can please please let us know <laughs> i want to be rich i've changed my mind i want to be rich so please <laughs> please just share with us i am um, like platforms we can check or like places that we can check to invest our money that would be really appreciated let's talk about like personal now what what has changed in our spending are we spending more are we spending less since we left nigeria hmm. well if you look at the numbers i am spending more here than in nigeria but if you look at the frequency hmm. you would think that we are not spending more here uh, by numbers i mean if you add up every monthly expense the rent the utilities, then your um, feeding and etc. You realize that what you are paying per month here, nah, you, you are a rich person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, compared to, I mean, I, I, I'm from Akure in Nigeria, so the the rent in Akure is nothing compared to yeah. what you have in Lagos. So I think like for context purposes, like <clears throat> he'll be talking about like um, in relation to Akure, yeah. Akure which is like um, one of the smaller cities in Nigeria mm -hmm. and the cost of living there is really low mm -hmm. because <clears throat> personally I feel like here I used to think that you know like rent money is a lot like how much you pay rent monthly but I just realized that to get the same standard of living, to get the same mm -hmm. kind of apartments and all the facilities that came with the apartments yeah. because it was fully furnished. Mm -hmm. So to get this, 
in Lagos, you are definitely paying more than <laughs> you will pay how many like? in the city center. <laughs> Let's not forget that part that we live in the city center. <laughs> Yeah. yeah so like if you have this and then you bring it to lagos you're definitely paying more mm, sure. so but I, I mean i worked in Ibadan, which is another small city in nigeria so if you compare well, not, it to that not small Ibadan is really big mm, okay okay <laughs> yeah Ibadan is actually bigger than lagos like mm -hmm. in terms of size but in terms of like economy, economy yeah. yeah it's it's smaller than lagos and then to be fair, you probably even may pay almost as much for to get this in places, in certain places that will be equivalent to this area mm -hmm. in Ibadan. You'll actually pay as much. Mm -hmm. Because, oh God, if you hear how much people are paying in rent, empty buildings, empty apartments that you will still have to furnish. Oh God. <laughs> but anyway, like if you're Nigerian and maybe maybe people do not think that or maybe people think I'm exaggerating, but you know, like just just mention it, you know, how apartments and cost of apartments are so expensive yeah. in Nigeria. Exactly. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's normal for you to spend like in Lagos, it's normal to spend like half of your annual salary on rent. rent. It's very normal. So that's um I think that maybe if you're saying in general Lagos perspective, I mm. think that living cost is reduced it's here. Reduced. Also, what would you say? Like, let's talk about utility now. The fact that like every month oh, you yeah. pay like some amount of money that guarantees your electricity, mm -hmm. your heating, your your gas, yeah. your internet. I mean, you know? I would gladly pay double of what I'm paying for utility here. I would gladly pay the same <laughs> in Nigeria to have 24 hours light. Like, Preach. in 8 months or 9 months that we've been here, light has not blinked. <laughs> like, it hasn't blinked. <laughs> like, it has not blinked. I would gladly pay. So, like, it, it costs a lot more in Nigeria. Yes. So if you are going to afford yourself all of this, I mean, internet. <laughs> First of all, in Nigeria, you will have the money and you'll be looking for good internet yes. to spend this money on. <laughs> and you will not find. <laughs> yeah, so the, I, when, when you compare what we are paying for unlimited internet here to yeah, what you pay, it's actually Nigeria, nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. But we, we should even factor in the fact that, um, okay, well, internet is cheap in Lithuania. Like, yeah, it's not so expensive in Lithuania. Very yeah. cheap in Lithuania. Very cheap very in Lithuania. Cheap. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not an yeah, overstatement. <laughs> it's stupidly cheap. <laughs> yes, internet is very cheap, very cheap in Lithuania. <laughs> yes. Um, how much? Should we tell them how much you're paying? No. Yeah. You want to know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ask later. You ask later. Yeah, so um, there's that. So, so when it comes to utilities, we spend less money here. Yeah, than... we less. Yeah. So um, what else do we... Uh... Yeah, and feeding too. I mean, I, I think feeding is actually reduced for me here. Yeah. The cost of feeding. Yeah, I think so. I think it's cheaper to feed here too. Why do you say so? Because, I mean, I have a monthly budget and then I hardly ever go past the monthly budget. And this monthly budget is lesser, far less than what my monthly budget was in Nigeria. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so maybe did, were, did you used to buy food more in Nigeria? Yeah, I used to, So in Nigeria, I used to buy food more. I think I used to cook more too. Not that I was the one cooking it anyway, but yeah used to cook more you and then you know you have to buy your gas you have to buy the food you have to pay the chef oh my god <laughs> please i ask you to disregard everything Ope just said now because he had a chef in nigeria he's not going to put <laughs> he had an actual chef in nigeria of course he was Okay, so yeah, maybe maybe it doesn't count. <laughs> oh my god! God, I've never lived in a place where we had a chef. God, talk more of me having a chef. But yeah, please disregard him yeah. and everything he says because he was living an elite lifestyle in Nigeria. <laughs> anyway, but but for me, I think that. Feeding has definitely increased for me here mm. compared to what I used to pay in Nigeria because first of all in in Nigeria I 
would I say that I used to eat less? But like, I just didn't really care because sometimes I eat once a day and I know that if I'm hungry, I can always buy food. Mm-hmm. And buying food means that, you know, like if I'm buying this food, that, that's probably all I'm going to eat during the day. And then sometimes I'll cook. And the thing is that food stuff would, uh, in terms of, um, I don't know how to put this right, but food stuffs aren't so expensive. Like, let me say the things that I normally eat in Nigeria, um, eating them here will mean buying them from the African oh, store, yeah. mm-hmm. which would mean like you're paying like sometimes triple the price mm-hmm. in Nigeria. So in Nigeria, I definitely used to spend less, coupled with the fact that I could just randomly go to a friend's house and eat food there, so mm-hmm. I don't have to cook or, you know, I don't just go to people's house to eat, please. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but here, yeah, number one, like, I don't really enjoy eating out per se because I can be picky with food so most times when I go out I'm either eating pizza or burger or fries and chicken and all and I can't be eating that every day because it's tiring so it means that if I want to eat something I have to make it myself and the fact that I have to make it myself means that I spend less actually so I spend more here but hmm actually it's mainly because you didn't really cook too in Nigeria Yes, I oh yes, 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 I didn't really cook to in Nigeria if we are being honest. But like if I'm eating as much as I'm eating here mm-hmm. in Nigeria, I probably would have actually I don't know if I'll spend more. <laughs> I don't know. But in terms of food, so I think that all we are trying to bring out is here, as long as you're not trying to go the African route and get all your African food stuff here, mm-hmm. you it would probably be the same thing yeah, when it comes to like be- we're going to cost you the same yeah thing. so if you are buying you know like things from the store vegetables rice and everything and cooking with your uh, menu is cheaper but hmm if you decide that you want to come here and you want to be eating nigerian food eat my money when you please eat yam when you please is what all these things about fufu ah you <laughs> you all go, those wonderful things <laughs> you go bankrupt because, <laughs> because the last time last month we shopped what like three or four items from the african store and we spent the money that sometimes we used to buy groceries for a whole month yeah and it did not even last that long so <laughs> i would not suggest it so it so the point is that the fact that we're even comparing this thing means that the difference is not a lot yeah it's not. and then transportation hmm. Well, I, th- I I don't know what the public bus system in Lagos is like, but we don't we didn't have public bus in my own city in Accra, so I think transportation here would be cheaper because anywhere you are going, it's seventy cents if you go by public bus. So yeah, it's cheaper here. Yeah, I agree. Transportation is cheaper here. Number one, the fact that you know the bus connects to almost every place. Mm-hmm. Like every place you want to go to, there is most likely a bus route that will take you there. Mm-hmm. So that is cheap. In my, if you the amount of money that we spend in a month here, we spend way more than that. If you're working in Lagos and you're going from like the mainland to the island in Lagos, you mm-hmm. definitely spend way more. So transportation is also cheaper here. Yeah. So uh, when it comes to like indulging, going out for drinks, for food, to hang out with friends, where do you spend more? Mm. Well, I think I spent more in Nigeria, but it's probably because I had more friends. <laughs> well, that's valid. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because I had more friends I went out with. But here, it's, it's not something expensive to, to go out to have some fun. So. Yeah. I think that I spend less here to be honest because the fact that you can go out and have fun and all you have to buy is a glass of beer I don't drink beer but yeah you get my point <laughs> yeah th- that's actually cheap I think that it's easier you, you have cheaper fun here yeah. even eating out like if you're eating out like you want to have like an elite experience eating out you're still going to spend less money here than you spend in Dagos yeah, like if you want to go to all those highbrow restaurants in Dagos you definitely spend more that you spend here and then if you want to go out for drinks now it's comparable because say you want to go out for drinks with your guys now is to go and buy maybe catfish pepper soup mm-hmm. and beer yeah. you probably spend less if it's that kind right oh, where is beer cheaper I, I don't know the price of beer in nigeria beer is like 100 naira 
400 naira. Then beer is oh yeah, beer is more expensive beer because <laughs> a glass of beer here will cost you like three three euros. Yeah, which is like one two. One two gets you three bottles of Heineken, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So beer is more expensive here. So if you are doing just beer, then you spend more money here. But like if you are thinking wholesome experience, mm -hmm. you most likely spend less money here. Yeah. So that's it. Um, we've discussed spending habits, we've discussed spending culture, we've spent, we've discussed, you know, like how we see money now. Do I do you see money differently? No. Me too. I don't really see money differently. <laughs> but I just want to say that, you know, I would always pick a better quality of life over more money. Mm -hmm. Not always, it's so <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, guess, right? Yeah. Like, like you would always pick a, you would always pick a place where you didn't have to spend a lot of money to get yourself the good life. Mm -hmm. Than a place where like you want money a lot, you get a lot of money, but and you then, have to spend a lot of it too. And you may not even get as good quality yeah, of life as yeah. you get here. So a lot of people, a lot of people actually leave Nigeria to other places, not because they are getting more money, but because of the quality of life mm -hmm. that they are getting so people take pay cuts for that and they have no regrets yeah that's it about money and our spending and the cultures and the habits for this uh, uh yeah thank you for watching till the end do you have any final words for my people oh well <clears throat> i feel like if anybody watched to this point to this part then it means that they are really interested in I mean finances and money and stuff so what I would um, what I can advise people it's what I do uh, it's that um, you should always if you view your money as um, soldiers that can help defend your country then you will be very tactical about how and where you spend your money which is why I keep track of all my spendings so yeah Treat your money as if they are your soldiers that are going to defend your country in time of war and think about it that war is coming. So always have your soldiers ready. Hashtag deep. <laughs> 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 yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Please hit, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. It also goes a long way to recommending it to other people. And... Uh, let us know your comments about what we said in the comment section. We'll continue the conversation there. And let us know if you want to see Mufesola. Please say no so that he'll not feel himself. Or say yes if you actually want him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I will see you in my... Oh, yes, don't forget to subscribe. Please Do... subscribe. Please. Please. It's cool. for taking. Please. Please subscribe to my channel. Share with your friends. Share on your social media. Tell them to come and watch my 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 video my channel yes so i will see you in my next video bye